Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Today I'm going to be reviewing SyncMate for Mac, which is an application that helps you synchronize tons of different devices to your Mac or just from a device to another device, as well as synchronizing to online services such as Dropbox, your Google account, and all that cool stuff. So I'm going to show you that right now. And uh, let's get right into it, shall we? So the first thing I want to show you guys is how to synchronize with another Mac. So right here I have my MacBook, and uh, since it's connected to my home network, it will automatically find my other Mac, and it will find it will appear in the drop-down menu. So it's really easy to um, connect to it. And once I connected my MacBook, I can synchronize tons of different things: my contacts, calendar events, to do, Safari bookmarks. Enter's notes, mail notes, iPhotos, iTunes and video, and I can even select which playlists uh, I want to synchronize. And the folders as well, now, that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, it's, it really makes backing up easier because one thing I don't like about backing up is that it takes so much time and space to back up your whole computer and whatnot. And with the folder uh, synchronize option, it's really cool because you can select individual folders and only select those folders that are, in, that are important to you and that you really need uh, in case you're a MacBook crashes or your hard drive crashes. So that's a really cool alternative to backing up, just backing up certain folders uh, with your other computer and I really like that option. And of course lastly in the more options menu you got the, the auto sync feature which of course uh, automatically syncs for you every certain amount of time so you can select uh, the time 10 minutes one every day, every week, it doesn't matter but uh, that's pretty cool as well. You can just uh, set that up and don't think about it anymore, let it run in the background. So that's pretty cool. Now next to your other Mac computers you can of course synchronize some of different other things such as a Windows PC, so if you have a Windows PC you can do that, Android devices that includes Android phones and tablets, Windows Mobile, Nokia S40 phones and the iPhone and iPads. Now that's pretty cool as soon as you uh, connect your iPhone through USB to your computer it will automatically find it for you and connect to SyncMate and from there on you can synchronize tons of different things again your contacts uh, calendar events Safari bookmarks enters notes mail notes stickies iPhotos iTunes and video all that stuff uh, folders as well just like your Mac uh, one th one thing I really like to use in SyncMate with my iPhone that's really unique to think SyncMate that you cannot do through iTunes is the mount disk option so if you go into the more options menu you go ahead and mount disk, it will actually mount your iPhone as an external hard drive, as if it was an external hard drive to your Mac. And from there on, you can just access everything that's inside your phone, um, such as your pictures and videos as well. And that's really great in my opinion, because uh, I really like sometimes to just quickly grab a few pictures or a video that I just recorded with my phone uh, without needing to resynchronize everything through iTunes and stuff. That takes quite a bit of time. So here I can just mount the disk and drag and drop it to my desktop and I have the, the video that I just recorded on my phone. So that's a really, really good cool options you have there. So next to your iPhone and iPad, you got your Google accounts that simply synchronizes your uh, Google Calendar as well as your Google contacts that you have put in, for example, in Gmail. It will automatically synchronize all your contacts you have on your Gmail. Uh, next up we got online backup. Now online backup is something that's offered by SyncMate itself or by Altima Software which are the developers of SyncMate. And you simply create an account, it's totally free if you have the expert mode at least of the SyncMate. Um, it's free to create an account and from there on once you created your account you can synchronize uh, your contacts, uh, calendar events, to do Safari bookmarks and all that stuff. You cannot synchronize individual folders because they don't allow you to have that much space on the online backup. But as long as it's all your important information, pretty much you can uh, synchronize that with uh, with their online backup service. So that's pretty cool. Now after the online backup, you can also synchronize with a mounted device. So this can be simply a USB thumb drive that you put in your Mac or uh, an external hard drive that you have connected to your Mac. It can be through your network or through the USB. It will automatically appear in the list. You can uh, select it and will SyncMate will connect to it. And from there on, you can again synchronize. You can choose what to synchronize, iPhone, iTunes and video, folders and backup. Now again, I think the folders feature is really great again because it allows you to just select certain folders that you want to, to synchronize with it and not everything. So again, you don't need to go through the whole process of backing up the whole computer. You can just back up certain files that you really think are important. And uh, as well, as soon as you add a folder or a file in that folder on your external hard drive or on your Mac, it will automatically synchronize whatever happens in the background, which I think is really great. So I'm sure that I don't need to uh, back up every week. It just keeps on backing up all the time. So that's, I think, that's something that I really, really like 
uh, just being able to back up certain folders that I really find important um, in my opinion. Of course, you got a few other options such as backup, which obviously backs up your whole computer. You can also select certain folders. Uh, so it kind of does the same as folders, but it's a little bit more advanced, I guess. Uh, next to that, uh, the last two devices we have is the Sony PlayStation Portable. If you use that, it does not work with the PS Vita yet, but I think it will work soon. Uh, and the Apple iPod. Uh, which is exactly like your iPhone, you simply connect it through USB to your computer and you'll be able to access your music. So uh, that's pretty cool as well. So that's everything uh, that you can synchronize with with Syncmay. That's quite a lot of services and, and devices. Um, so definitely a, a great application in my opinion. So you can get the free version of Syncmade, which is totally free. It's not a trial. It just has a limited amount of features. Uh, you can get it for free, and with that, you can synchronize your contacts, your iCalendar events or calendar events from uh, your Google account or any other device. It doesn't matter, all the uh, devices I showed you in the video. And that's pretty much the two main features you get with the free version, although there's a few extra features you get, and uh, they have a table on their website where you have the comparison of both versions, so I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video, as well as a link to their product page uh, in the description as well of this video. On the expert mode, though, you can uh, you have a tons of uh, cool little features that I also showed you in this video, for example, being able to mount your iPhone as an external drive on your phone, and then being able to access your pictures or videos, um, being able to synchronize certain folders that you just want with other devices, um, being able to encrypt your data for extra security, uh, uh, synchronizing your Safari and Firefox and bookmarks and such things like that. That's all in the expert version. Now, is it worth it to get the expert version? That really depends on your situation. If you just have one computer and one phone where you just use all the time, I wouldn't recommend going for the expert version. Although if you have a little bigger of a network in your home uh, if you have for example a desktop computer and you have a laptop for on the go you got your external hard drive for the backup your phone your tablet whatever you have if you have a lot of devices I definitely recommend uh, getting the expert version since it definitely does help me as well uh, synchronizing all my devices without too much hassle so I definitely recommend uh, the expert version if you have a lot of devices uh, if you don't you can always uh, give the free version a try so I'll leave again all the links in the description. I'll thank you a lot for watching my review of SyncMate and I'll thank a lot. Uh, I want to sp give a special thanks to Altima Software for letting me review their expert version of SyncMate. Hopefully you liked this review. If you did, please like the video. Favorite, that would be even better. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll thank you a lot for watching once again. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.